In this tutorial, we're taking a look at Eon ARP from Modalix. Eon ARP works as a MIDI effect or as a plugin or standalone instrument with its own onboard synth. Here we're using it as a MIDI effect coupled with Dimitri Shea's Thorn CM, which you can find in the Computer Music Suite. Eon ARP includes both onboard patterns and note generation, so you can get up and running very easily. But with a little understanding of the note grid, you can also get stuck in and create your own patterns. To get started, make sure the input option on Eon's chord section is set to external, so you can play it via MIDI. Now head to the pattern presets in the top bar. Try loading some examples. For single note or two note input, try some bass lines such as Stubby Funk from the bass folder. Or Tribal Disco from the Basic folder. If you're after something weirder, then the Odd Meter and Get Creative folders have some pretty bonkers patterns. Meanwhile, the graphic nature of the grid means it can be fun creating patterns that just look good. Here we've loaded up the Grand Adventure preset from the graphic folder, which does just that. If you'd rather not program your own MIDI, Eon also includes integrated MIDI file playback with file import and a good choice of onboard MIDI files. To activate this mode, set the input option in the chords section to file. Eon will then trigger the file in sync with DAW playback, following whichever grid note block pattern is loaded. There are over 100 onboard MIDI files that include single chord and multi chord options as well as a bunch of different scales. The latter are great for creating bass lines. Here we've loaded up the minor MIDI file with the stubby funk pattern preset. Loading presets is fun, but to take full control of Eon and its flexible and creative approach, it's important to understand how the grid works and how to edit it. You have two ways to define the number of steps and step duration, called divide and multiply and these are chosen by clicking the Divide Multiply icon. For Multiply, as we're using here, the Step parameter defines the length of each step. Meanwhile, the Steps parameter selects how many steps there are. So, with a step length of 1 8 and 16 steps, we have a two bar pattern. We have three tools to add and modify steps. The cursor can be used to add, move, lasso and copy steps Meanwhile, the pencil offers a quick add and remove option. The third cursor adjusts velocity, which is indicated by the block color. For pitch, Eon uses a relative pitch system, so it maps the input notes across the grid, filling the grid above and below the input notes for a total of 11 pitches. As an example, play a chord. Here, our A minor triad, notes A, C and E, is listed up the left hand side. Now select note blocks for the middle, first and second degrees of the grid. Playing the three note triad now results in a three note arpeggio with octaves available above and below. But you can of course input any notes and chain together an ARP part across a multiple chord sequence. As mentioned, the remaining note degrees repeat the input notes in different octaves. Here we've modified the note blocks to play a pattern picking out some of these octaves. 